guys, this is Good Deeds. I'm Dr. Renee Sunday. We're hanging out in Atlanta. You know, we always bring you some wonderful things to empower you, to educate you, and of course, get that you can make a wise decision. We're actually hanging out at the Thrive in 365 live event. Yes, the goal is to make sure you identify your purpose, get support, and of course, you got to walk it out and believe in what you do. We have a beautiful young lady here with us. She has a secret to tell you. It's a wonderful thing that, whew, it's just so amazing to see this beautiful young lady inside it and out. Miss Malika Alexandria. Yes, ma'am. Miss Malika Alexandria. I'm so happy to be here with you, Dr. Sunday. How is your day going so far? Great. If I pronounce the name right, yeah. <laughs> pronounce it for me again. Maika. Maika. I got it now, Mike. Maika. Yes. She's a beautiful young lady. Oh, thank you. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is Maika Alexandre. I am the Georgia contestant at large for the Miss Black America pageant this year, which will be held in Philadelphia on August 12th through the 16th. Wow. Yes. A long week coming ahead. Oh, man. So you have to, it, it's different categories you yes. have to have in there. Talent, swimwear, and of course, gown, and the hardest part, the question and answering portion. Well, you could, you got that. Oh, thank yeah, you. when you're in your purpose, you, it'll just come naturally. Thank God for that. Amen. Amen. Well, how did you enjoy yourself today? Um, I loved it. It's just amazing to see how other people are putting together their brand, but they're not selfish to the point where it's just about my brand. They're giving back to each other's brand. So if all of us can build brands together, we might have a new uh, community building wow. up, a new kingdom building up. We never oh, know. I like that kingdom building. That's yes. what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> anyway. Wow. So how did you actually think about? being in a pageant well I used to coach fraternity pageants but it got to a point where it's like well I want to carry on a platform I'm here coaching these young women but they haven't seen me done it myself so this is my opportunity to tell my story and I do come from a very troubled past not so pretty not so pageant like but I want young women to see that no matter what your past is God can still use you oftentimes they say that God would take the unqualified and put them in the highest position well, we're getting ready to see what God is going to do because I've been through some things Ooh, wait a minute, I gotta do a high five on that. Oh God, that's amazing. You're just so beautiful. Oh, thank you. Know, you know, God means I, a lot. You don't even know how much. Like it's still sinking in. Like I still go home and cry. I'm like, I can't believe I'm in this. Like God, is it too late to back out? He'd be like, no. I'm like, okay, fine. No, He has your back. He has your. As the kid said, backside and all those things. But but tell me, when <laughs> you receive your crown, what what is the things that you want to do to help other people? Yeah. Well, my platform and my passion is going to be to create programs that restore the social and economic value of black communities. So I do want to go into the community. I want to be known as the people's queens, whether it's doing a program at the school or the neighborhood gym or the teacher's appreciation at the bowling alley. Just going into the community and letting them feel and see the value that is still good. And my, that passion comes from the scripture. I hope I'm not taking it out of content, but it you know, led something to me and Deuteronomy chapter 2, verses 2 before when God says, okay, you have waited here long enough, now it's time to go and possess, and I need more African American communities to possess their territory, to rebuild their neighborhoods, whether it's from the schools to the nurses or whatever kind of fun activities that I can do, just connect with the people and start to rebuild. It's, we've waited long enough, yes. <laughs> it's time to go and possess, and just having people enjoy heaven on earth, that's what I want when people meet me as their queen to be. <laughs> Oh, ooh, I'm just in tears. Oh, oh God. Oh, God bless you. That's amazing. Now, you have to come back when you have the crown yes. and talk to us again. <laughs> That's amazing. But, you know, I always have to ask some funny. But when you're walking across the stage, what is going through your mind? Um, two things. I hope I don't fall. <laughs> Because I'm very short, and then heels, and then the long dress. I'm like, oh man, just trying to keep it together. And two, I hope to make eye contact with like the judges and the audience members. So sometimes you get stuck in that frame where you're just walking and smiling, but you're not really there. But I want to make sure I connect to the audience so they can feel it. Like the pageant and everything leading up to it is like an opportunity for them to get to know their queen. Like this is what it could be like mm -hmm. to have this, you know, this female brand. So I want them to experience that in that second. And for me not to be on the stage and scared like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope to connect. Oh wow, well, you do it. No, you gonna do it. Don't worry. Don't worry. As we say, don't stop. Get it. Get it. <laughs> That's the thing I today. Yeah, oh wow. Well, tell us how we can contact you. 
Um, you can first, you can definitely show support if you're excited about this opportunity as much as I am on www.gofundme.com backslash Miss Black America campaign. But of course, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as Miss Black America Georgia. Or you can just look me up at my name, Maika Alexandre, M-A-I-K-A. A L E X A N D R E. Oh wow, I like that. Thank you, Maika. Maika, I got it right now. Hey, yes, yes, yes. yes. beautiful <laughs> lady inside and out that will represent our community well, and so we salute her for that. And I'm th thankful for that she actually was here at the Thrive in 365 live event. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for having oh, me. Oh, wow. Thank you for being here with Good Deeds. Yes, oh, yes. Wow. Amazing. It's all coming together. The other day, I found out what my um, last name meant. Alexandra is Defender of Mankind. So I'm trying to put that together wow. and like, defend the, um, Af the African American community. And I found out that Maika is a female version of Micah. And then by Micah, that means who is like God. So I'm That's like, oh, right. God for the show out. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I agree with that. He will now. <laughs> so get ready. <laughs> Get ready, get ready, get ready, right? Well, you guys, you know we always have fun here and a positive fun here at Good Deeds. And you know, this is Dr. Renee Sunday. Hi, you guys, this is Good Deeds and I'm Dr. Renee Sunday. You know, we always bringing you information, we want to educate you and we want to inspire you that you can make a wise decision. We have a wonderful, 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 and handsome, I told him, you know, we're going to be in trouble. No, I'm just kidding. But handsome young man here with us that he's going to tell us the wonderful things that is happening in this life. Mr. George Tanny Jr. Welcome to Good Deeds. Oh, wow. Beautiful, beautiful smile. You know, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll be hey. Now, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, <laughs> you're awesome. <laughs> I'm a singer-songwriter. I'm originally from Virginia, and I live in Miami now. And I'm, just, I'm here in Atlanta about to do this show, and I'm excited. I'm excited to be here. Wow, I love Miami. Yeah, me too. Wow, the food. Did you bring some comp? Did back I? With, you see? I did, but you didn't let me know. I thought wow. you was going to. Next time. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, tell me, how do you get your inspiration in regards of the things that you do? Um, uh, I get my inspiration from a variety of things. Like it could be a, a note that I'm playing on the keyboard, or mm -hmm. just an emotion. Or I read a lot, so one word can kind of trigger a thought or an mm -hmm. idea or mm -hmm. a conversation. And I have a pretty vivid imagination, so I can listen to a story and maybe kind of try to squeeze into four minutes of mm -hmm. a song. Mm -hmm. So it really varies, you know. Oh wow! How, you say that you read a lot. Mm -hmm. Any particular type of reading you do? I, I like um, I like uh, books that kind of stimulate thought, like thought-provoking mm -hmm. books like mm -hmm. that are spiritual, positive, mm -hmm. and like, mm -hmm. uh, kind of force me to reanalyze the way I think about the world and my perspective oh, wow. on the world. Like there's an artist, his name is Daisaku Ikeda, he's a Japanese uh, author mm -hmm. that I like. And another author named Eckhart Tolle, mm -hmm. who has some mm -hmm. stuff that I like. Wow, you know we're going to go get that. You put the numbers up now. <laughs> but great. Well, you know, the thing about it, we do have to read things. Mm -hmm. We have to be prepared before, because that mindset can be, well, like they say, a terrible thing to, to waste. Right, right. But when you performing, when you up on stage, what's going through your mind? Um, I, I feel, I kind of feel like I'm on a playground, really. It's, it's wow. fun. And I, I treat my performances as a dialogue. So it doesn't feel much different than this here. Wow. And um, it's my opportunity to introduce myself to some people that I might not otherwise have met if I didn't write the music. And then, mm -hmm. and also, uh, since I'm on a platform and I do have the mic, I use it as a, a chance to share messages that maybe uplift or mm -hmm. just give some perspective based off my own life experiences. So it's a lot. And I'm, a, I'm pretty silly, so it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's <laughs> but that's fun. fun. Yeah. Because you have to enjoy things. And you, so you, that actually know that you're in your purpose. Uh, of course. I mean, there's a million people who would love to be in the position that I'm in, you know, uh, supporting myself by doing something that I love to do. So I don't take any moment for granted. You know? Wow. Wow. <laughs> well, how did you know? Do me a favor. I, I know many people are looking and listening right now. How do you know if you're actually in your purpose? Uh, I think everybody has to define that for themselves. For me, mm -hmm. uh, I've always felt a real strong connection with rhythm and sounds and stuff like mm -hmm. that. I was that kid beating on the table, getting on everybody's nerves at the kitchen table, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? Or like uh, beatboxing for no reason or using anything and trying to make an instrument out of it, whether it was a 
like a pencil or a glass or anything. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I always knew that music was something that mm -hmm. I understood kind of naturally. So wow. um, everybody's different. I think if it brings you joy and it doesn't cause anybody any harm, that might be a clue. Right. That sounds good to me. Yeah. Get your purpose now, right? right. <laughs> well, tell us, uh, you have to tell us how we can, of course, pay for <laughs> your, your music and the things that you do. Tell us how we can contact you, how we can support you. Okay, uh, well, my website is georgetandyjr.com. I have a song out called March that's doing pretty well. And uh, uh, my Instagram and my Twitter are both at Team Tandy. Wow. Yes. So we'll see you at the awards. I and hope we was so. like, oh, I know him. I hope so. <laughs> well, we believe with you. We believe with I you. It. Thank you so much Thank for you. being You have a, a real peaceful spirit. Thank you. And you're going to do more and more in life. Thank you. Yeah, I always tell people, don't stop, get it, get it. Uh, <laughs> See, that's a song now. See, not, you got it. <laughs> come on, that's supposed to come back again. Don't stop, get it, get it. Don't stop, get it, get it. Don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys, you know, we love to have fun here. Thank you, Thank George you and Julia, you. for being here with us on Good Deeds. And you know, guys, we just have fun here. And this is Good Deeds, and I'm Dr. Renee Sunday. guys we're back we're still hanging out at the thrive in 365 live event now whenever you go somewhere you need to make sure you have laughter in your life that brings your blood pressure down your cholesterol and probably your diabetes your number down but we had a wonderful time this beautiful young lady she's looking innocent now okay <laughs> this is comedian lady q welcome to good deeds thank you so much thank you for having me wow to be here. You're powerful. <laughs> You're I, don't, powerful. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Well, I've been a clown all my life. Um, so that's number one. Mm -hmm. And started doing stand-up comedian about six years ago. Wow. Yeah, about six years ago. And I realized that um, laughter is healing. Mm -hmm. So people may come to the show feeling, mm -hmm. you know, they may be down, depressed, worried about mm -hmm. bills, just whatever mm -hmm. life issues. Mm -hmm. But when they leave the show mm -hmm. and God gives me the ability to wow. perform, Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they leave out laughing, having a great time. Right. Oh, my God, you know, you yes. just really lifted my spirit. So you just wow. you just never know what people are going through. So I make right. it a daily habit of mine to make people laugh. Wow. Well, I would like to work next to you. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh at first. But let me ask you, how do you get the things that you say? Do you, you How do you put your performance together? I have lived everything that I've talked about. Wow. I have lived it. I've been, like I said, born and raised in church mm -hmm. um, in the Holiness Pentecostal Doctrine. And I mean, from that point on, just, just looking at different people, um, experiencing different life experiences, mm -hmm. growing up, um, being a single mom, wow. dating. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hallelujah, okay. We could talk about that all night, can't we? <laughs> just life experiences, and then you, you, just, you just make them funny. Anything wow. that happens, I find humor in it. Right. Because laughter is medicine for the soul, definitely. Yeah. And that actually, like you say, it makes it better. It does. Wow. It does make it better. Because crying about it is not going to change it. That's right. So why not laugh? And crying right. make you ugly. Uh, you're right. We'll have, <laughs> we'll have bags and all. That's, That's right. Okay. That's right. That's amazing. Thank so you. people actually... You know you're going to be all over the world because the thing about it is you actually, you're very real, mm -hmm. as you said, about things. And then people can relate exactly. to what you're saying. Yes. And they have to laugh. <laughs> and then later on when they get in that same situation, they're going to laugh again. Like, say, lady, cute. <laughs> That's what I tell me. Don't y'all go to church looking at folks funny. But yeah, we've all lived it. And the wonderful thing about being a comedian mm -hmm. um, who has lived the experience is that you get mm -hmm. to say things people are thinking. Wow. You know, yeah. you, you say what people are thinking, like, man, I wish I could say blah, blah, blah. So yeah, you say it for them, and it just makes it a whole lot better. Well, that's true, because you think a lot of these, like, you can't say it. You be acting like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. So funny. Wow. So do you have any uh, projects or anything that's coming out? Tell us um, about that. Okay. Well, what I do have coming up is I'll be at Word of Faith, uh, family, family and Friends Day or Family mm -hmm. Day. That's July 18th um, at Word of Faith in Austell, Georgia. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think. I can't think off the top of it because I don't have my calendar. Mm -hmm. yeah, I understand. But, mm -hmm. I mean, people call me 
all the time. Mm -hmm. They call me for mm -hmm. local events. There are times that I travel. Oh, wow. And God has just truly blessed me within the six years. Mm -hmm. I perform for Bruce Bruce. I oh, perform yeah. for Chocolate. Mm -hmm. I've opened up for Marcus D. Wiley, yes, Small yes. Fire. So God has just truly put me in places that, you know, I'm being recognized, I'm mm -hmm. being noticed, mm -hmm. and it's just an awesome feeling on this journey. It oh, is. I know it is. It I, is. Yes. Oh, wow. God bless you. But tell us how we can contact you. You can contact me on Facebook at um, Lady Q Makes Us Laugh. Also on Instagram, Lady Q Laughter. Follow me on Twitter at Laughter Q. And also, oh, the mm -hmm. greatest thing that happened to me this year, 2014, I was nominated for season four, 2014 Praise Factor uh, People's <laughs> Choice Award for Best Christian Comedian. Not only was I nominated, I won the category. <laughs> Yes. So, well. so that in itself was an awesome, awesome experience. Mm -hmm. I got to meet so many people. It was down in Columbia, wow. South Carolina. Mm -hmm. I mean, the platform of Praise Factor was just an awesome, awesome platform. Wow. And God is just truly blessed even more from that experience. Well, I got a kudo about that. <laughs> Good Deeds actually was, has been nominated for season five oh, for awesome. radio program. Awesome, yes, awesome. I'm very excited. But you know, all to the glory of God. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Please vote. Please vote. Please vote. Please vote. Well, amazing. But thank you, Lady Q, for taking time out of being here with God us. A good thank you for having me. Amen, amen. But you guys, you know, we're just having a wonderful time. And you know, this is Good Deeds. And I'm Dr. Renee Sunday. We're back. We're having an awesome time hanging out at Thrive and 365 Live event in Atlanta, Georgia. We have another awesome person. You just, you already know by the look, right? Yeah, amen. <laughs> we have Dante's Love. Welcome to Good Deeds. Thank you for having me. Wow, I like it, like, like. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I am a hairstylist um, slash <laughs> contemporary gospel artist. Um, my life is I, it's so like inter expandable. I, I don't can't even explain it. It's a lot. Mm, God just opening many doors, <laughs> not just one many, many. door. That's how that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Wow. So when you actually do your music, when you up there, uh, you know, I don't want to say performing because really you worshiping Minister. God. You're ministering to the people. How, what's going through your mind? What what really is going on? It actually depends on the event. Um, if if it's a church event. I can go straight into worship. I can go straight into praise. But when it's more of me being an artist, mm -hmm. <laughs> my inner me be stuck. The rest of me just be going. So my, you would think that nothing was wrong. Um, but on the inside, I'd probably be sweating bullets. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Wow, um, wow. I just live to um, praise and worship God. That's, wow. that's my goal. Well, tell me, are you working on any products right now? Or any? I am. I'm working on my first project. Um, it's called A Walk Called My Life. And mm. it's a lot of testimony of me and my worship. And it should be coming real soon. Oh, wow. We can't wait. Exactly. Well, you know, a lot of people actually want to step out, want to actually be an artist. Well, I mean, it could be just even a praise dancer or whatever God has called them. Kind of give them some encouragement of things that they can, you know, of course, they need to be in the word. But, <laughs> but you know, sometimes we miss the practical things that we need to do. So kind of give us some suggestions. Well, for me, um, first, you have to have faith. That's when I say the key to everything, you have to have faith. You have to have faith that um, what God is calling you to do is for you to do. Um, because people are going to discourage you. They're going to tell you that's not what you're supposed to do. And, you know, the first thing is have faith. Um, if you have faith, um, everything else will line up and it'll put you in a position to be where you need to be. Well, I believe that. I believe that. Well, tell us how we can contact you. Um, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I am Dante's Love. That's my brand. I am Dante's Love. Um, all my work. And, you know, you can find Just be looking out for me. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Get ready for, you know, what's to come because God is opening doors and, you know, Dante's Love. I believe God is going to make a household name. All right. I'm, I'm, don't stop. Get it, get it. <laughs>
<laughs> I like that. Thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to be so here. Dante's Love. I like that. The name just rolls. I like that. You guys, that's amazing. Make sure you look out for them. We've already put it out there and we and received it. <laughs> well, you guys, you know, this is Good Deeds and I'm Dr. Renee Sutton. We're back, you guys. I have a surprise for you guys. I have a best kept secret that we have on the platform right now on Good Deeds. This is the young lady that have me looking beautiful each and every day. I love her dearly. We welcome Miss Melinda Jones to Good Deeds. Hi. How you doing? You're so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank wow. You. But tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is Melinda Jones and I've been a makeup artist for 10 plus years. And pretty much all my life though, I feel like I've, I've been a makeup artist. Wow, well how did you get that passion, that dream to actually do that? Um, I would say since I was very, very, very young, the only thing I ever saw myself doing was makeup. Wow. From like, as my youngest memory at three years old, I can remember coloring in all the coloring books and only the faces and drawing wow. eyelashes and having big blush and, and lipstick. And that's all I did. I never colored anything else in the whole page. <laughs> wow. Three years old. Mm -hmm. So that you were destined. <laughs> yeah. that. That's amazing. That's amazing. You know, we actually, as women, we make a lot of mistakes when it comes to makeup. Uh, you know, I say this all the time that I'm staying in my lane. That's why mm -hmm. you, <laughs> my BFF. But anything that you can tell us that we should want to avoid and any secrets that you can give us of what we should do on a daily basis? Well, on a daily basis, on an everyday basis, um, you want to have your quick five minute look and it should be very minimal um, because you want to always stay true to yourself. So on a daily basis, this is not my five minute look. That's not your five minute look. You know, that's very different. And so you want to make sure that you have a good basic a foundation. You want to really work on your skin. Your skin should be very good. If you can try very hard to put most emphasis on your skin because that will show, you know, through your, per mm -hmm. you know, your personality, it, you're able to be yourself. So you want your skin to really mm -hmm. come through. And then, you know, you put together a little five minute, you know, look, mm -hmm. and that's good for your every day. You want to feel good, feel good about yourself. Um, you want to feel pulled together, but you don't want to be overdone. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. usually it's going to be, with your skin, it's going to be a little bit of powder. Of course, your moisturizer, a little bit of powder. It's going to be usually a lip gloss and a mascara something to that effect. And, and honestly, it sh you should be able to do it very quickly in the car, not while you're driving. <laughs> not while you're driving. We don't drink and drive, text and drive, and all that, and we don't put makeup on and drive. But when you're parked, if you need to quickly kind of put yourself together, you, you know, you want to feel confident and have your, that's what you want to keep in your case. Wow. And, and don't do, let me, I'll give you a secret. Don't do what I used to do. Sometimes I'm so tired and I don't take my makeup off at night. Yeah, I, <laughs> that's one thing you don't do because no. that doesn't help your skin, right? No, that's terrible for your skin. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, you know, I'm very busy just like everyone else. Um, and a lot of times I'm coming home late, you know, late at night and you, you're not, maybe you don't want to take off your makeup. You don't want to, you just fall into the bed. What I suggest is to get those cleansing wipes and to keep them in your car. I keep one by my bed and one in my car because when I do have those days that I am really just that tired, um, I, my makeup starts coming off in the car. So then even if I, when I get home, I might, you know, finish off on my eyes. If I have to do that, it just depends. But at least you've really gotten it off, you know, before you even get into the house. Mm -hmm. And um, for people that are on the go, that's what I tell them. Keep your makeup uh, cleansing wipes in the car. It really, really helps, um, you know, with that step of making sure you clean it, you know, your face before you go to bed. Wow. Now you see she had, she's beautiful as well and she has me beautiful all the time. I really treasure our friendship and the wonderful things you do to make me feel special. Yes, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> well, tell us how we can actually, how we can contact you. Um, very easy. Um, on Instagram, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, it's Canoni Jones. That's my brand. That has been my brand for years, actually years. I came up with that because I'm very proud because um, I've kept my maiden name before I you know, got married, um, which is Canoni, and I'm half Italian, and 
I love my grandmother, and she was straight from Italy, so um, I love that I have her last name. So it's Canone, and that's a C-A-N-N-O-N-E, and then Jones is my, my other last name. So Canone Jones, that's my brand, and if you type that in anywhere, you can Google me. Um, you're going to see I have work, you know, from years back. I'm not proud of all of it because, you know, we grow, <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's out there. Um, and, uh, but I am on Facebook and I'm on Instagram and I can mm -hmm. be reached on those and you can, you know, email me. Also, my email is, um, Gmail, canonejones11 at, um, gmail.com. Wow. She, she really is being very humble. She does a lot of people that's in the celebrity. Uh, and I thank God that she does little people like me as well, but she actually is not telling you that she actually do a lot of the renowned people all over the country. So I had to thank say you. that because she's so humble, she won't say it. But thank you so much. Everybody is a celebrity. If you're in front of me, you're my celebrity. All right. See, I like that. that, that that's that's really it. Works. That's all right. That's right. I appreciate that. Thank you, you're Melanie welcome. Jones. Thank you. Thank you. For being here with Good Deeds. See, have people that's in your corner. Have people that will support you and, of course, correct you if you need that. Wise counsel. And I thank people for being in my life. And you know this is Good Deeds, and I'm Dr. Renee Sunday.